This is Dave Malby uh, from HotMix106.com, and I'm going to be interviewing today a good friend of mine, Jim Bellicera. How you doing, Jim? Doing great, Dave. Doing great. Thanks for having me on the show. You're very welcome. Why don't you tell the audience what you do, Jim? Uh, you know, there's, I do a lot of different things, but there's two major programs that I'm, I'm extremely motivated to talk about. One of them is called Successful Thinkers, and the other one is called We Can Brand You, and they both fit with each other. Successful Thinkers is kind of like Chamber of Commerce, but on, I, I like to say on steroids. And the reason I say that is because it's an opportunity for all types of entrepreneurs. I don't care what you do for a living, whether you're an insurance agent, real estate broker, whether you are a web designer, a general contractor, uh, whatever it is that you do, you need clients. And what Successful Thinkers does is offer you a platform to meet people for free. And what we do is we use social media to find people in their local community where they can all come together for free. And create the relationships, create the trust, and convert that into business. And quite honestly, We Can Brand You is, is just as important because people, you know, they trust you before they buy from you. Is that right? That's correct. So the whole concept behind We Can Brand You is to take your brand, take your name, take your image, and create a congruent um, recognition from the print material, whether mm -hmm. it's your business card, right. all the way to your website, your blogs, your social media sites like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and so on and so forth. And so we just basically make the best of all worlds for every entrepreneur. You're covering everything from print material all the way to social media to social interaction person to person. Well, you know, here's the thing, Dave, and this is what I've learned over the years, is that we most people don't really know this part of their business. They know what they're an expert at. So if you're a contractor and you know how to build houses, sure. then you're the best at that, right? Correct. Or if you're a real estate agent, you know how to sell houses. Correct. And if you're a web designer, you know how to design the right website. But if you want to be a professional in the eyes of your client and you want to stand out above your competition, when you look at uh, Facebook with over 550 million users right now, that's a pretty big C, wouldn't you say? Yeah, big one. Big. And then you think about the competition. If you're a contractor, how many contractors are out there? And and. You know, first impression, quite frankly, is everything. It certainly is. So, and, and, and you could lose a really good customer or client if you put on a horrible first impression, that's for sure. Well, yeah. unfortunately, people judge you yeah, they, right off the gate. They do, they do, right off the gate on how you portray yourself, your image. Jim, what makes you, uh, what made you start We Can Brand You? That's actually a really good question, Dave, because... I remember distinctly as I was going through all these different social media sites and recognizing that some of the top professionals in their specific field really looked bad. And it used to be, I mean, where, you know, like a real estate agent would have a really nice business card. They'd have the picture on the card. They were dressed really nice. And because their first impression with their client was supposed to be important, right? But the internet just got so convoluted with all these different people with their different opinions and, and different images and, and, and not to put down the younger generation because they didn't have to live through our professional arena, right? That's correct. They, they have a whole different scene. Now. That's right. And, and so they, they may not have originally understood first impression because, you know, you can, the younger generation, they can have their hair mess, right? You, you can wear the nose earrings and all these other things, but yeah, tattoos too, well, and, which yeah. is fine. Yeah. But when it gets down to business, people are, that are going to spend a lot of money are going to spend money on someone they trust, someone they believe can deliver what they need to have delivered. I don't care what it is. Yeah, get the job done. They can get the job done. And so you've got to start with, how do you look? Oh, think about this. When you, when, uh, you go into a, a beauty parlor, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, would you get your hair done by someone whose hair is a mess and their makeup's a mess? Or would you get your hair done by somebody who looks like they know what they're doing? Well, that, that is a funny thing because I've really thought about that. And, and then I said, wait a minute, they didn't do their own hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> they look so good? Yeah, it looks really good. Then I said, well, maybe I should hire whoever did their hair. <laughs> but, 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 the, but it is true. The image of, you would never hire someone to do your hair unless their hair looks great. Right. You and, wouldn't. So impression is everything. It is. It is. And, and I've been an entrepreneur my entire adult life. Mm. And, and I've gone through so many different clients. And, and I know that I've had to deliver not only a, a good product, but I had to act the part. And I had to be able to show them what I could do because they weren't just going to buy from me telling them. No. Actions speak louder than words, but you have to first get that initial impression. And then you deliver. 
Uh, Jim, hey, tell the, uh, the audience about Successful Thinkers. In fact, I belong to Successful Thinkers myself. I actually have gone to plenty of your meetings, and uh, I will vouch that they're fantastic. They are. And it, it is, uh, it's a great setting for meeting new people, new business contacts. But tell us how it started and where you're going with it. And, and it... Actually, you know, uh, I really, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do with my life is I wanted to leave a legacy. And I really believe that Successful Thinkers is that legacy because, you know, we're in a different time and a different era in, in business. And I've always done all my business belly to belly, face to face. But with social media and the internet and, and so forth, I realized that there's a lot of people out there that live in my local community that I could reach that I wouldn't have normally reached before. And so now all of a sudden, well, we, we got a little bit sophisticated with this whole program and we started reaching out in communities all across America. And we actually have uh, people from different parts of the world, by the way, involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah you told me about Germany. Right? Germany, UK, Canada. Yeah. It's, Ver it's crazy. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> But what I see happening is this is the, in my opinion, and I think it's pretty solid because I've been doing this long enough now, that we're the first synergistic organization that's ever done what we're doing, where we actually, our intent was not to just have a physical meeting, but was actually to go online and find people in our local community rather than have a physical presence already, like you know, BNI or LATIP or Chamber yeah. of Commerce, and say, well, let's use social media. No, no, no. We said, let's use social media to build uh, successful thinkers as well as word of mouth and and it's been so successful that it's it's on its own virally has we're now in over 90 cities around the country and like I said we're in a few other and countries. how long did you did it, well we started this uh, from right this point uh, I'd say about a year and a half year ago year and a half ago it was an idea yeah and what was really interesting when I uh, people, I think I went to one of your first meetings I think you did yeah uh, certainly one of the early ones for yeah. sure and uh I remember people, when they would ask me, what do I do? And I was so excited about successful thinkers. I said, well, uh, successful thinkers. And they looked at me kind of funny, and they said, well, I'm a successful thinker. And it really hit me. It's like, wow, there's something about this word. Because I think that entrepreneurs want to be successful, right? Yep. And so the word successful thinkers means that we're a successful thinking entrepreneur. Correct. And so it was the right words, for sure. But more importantly, um, we, we do something a little different. And this is where, you know, um, not to put down any other meetups that go on around the world, but when we come into a room, what we like to teach is people care more about how much you care than how much you know. But what's typical is everybody wants to do their elevator pitch, right? Mm -hmm. And they want to say, well, this is what I do. And they pull out their business card and they're immediately pitching their prospective client. Well, people buy you before they buy your business. Absolutely. I, I would not recommend somebody to do an elevator pitch. Hey, gee, hi, I'm blah, 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 here. You, you, you got to make friends. and. But, you know. but there's, you know, I think that a lot of entrepreneurs don't understand that part. No, they the don't. The really good ones just do it in, intuitively, yep. you know, and, and, and that's great. But Well, it's almost like they're knocking on a door, opening a door. I'm saying, hey, I got something to sell you. And that's what they think this situation is. They don't get it. But... Uh, it's an immediate turn off. Yeah, it is immediate. So I, I know that I look back in my past and literally all the major deals I've ever done in my life, and they've netted me millions and millions and millions of dollars, were never done with someone I didn't know. They were always done with somebody that I had developed a relationship with. Mm -hmm. They trusted me. I could call them on the phone. I could sit down with them, map out my ideas, mm -hmm. and they bought into it or not. But at least they were willing to sit down with me because they trusted me. And so what the message is with Successful Thinkers is we simply want to teach people how to really build that relationship how to create the trust so that whatever it is that you are selling, that people want to buy it because they bought you. Mm -hmm. They trust you. Yep. That's our message. That's an excellent, excellent thing. It really is. Well, Jim, it's been a pleasure. We're going to have to meet up again, talk to the audience again about your new endeavors. I'm sure we're going to do some business together, too. Thank you very much, Dave. Well, thank you.